The PNG government is ramping up its activities to put measures in place to keep the virus from entering the country. This coming after the increase in the number of confirmed cases that continue to skyrocket throughout Europe, Asia, the US, Australia and neighboring Pacific Island countries. For travelers coming into Papua New Guinea, the government has implemented enhanced screening procedures and entry restrictions in response to the worldwide outbreak. The restrictions prevent all passengers traveling from Italy, Iran, South Korea, Japan and mainland China from entering PNG without first completing 14 days of quarantine outside the country. As a government, we have been prepared all along and we put measures in place to ensure that uh, if a first case is established, we meet that at the doorsteps uh, and ensure that it is faced there and then or arrested there and then at the doorsteps. But so far, our activities at our only international designated uh, airport has shown no established case, although there were, there were few suspect cases uh, established and those suspect cases were dealt with in the established procedures WHO and our health department uh, has put in place. Our international uh, flights, uh, as most of you know, Port Mosby's Jackson's airport is the only designated international flight uh, airport of entry. And it will remain this way for our commercial flights or our private charter flights. And in those uh, passengers inbound, uh, five countries, passengers who are coming in from five countries, namely China, South Korea, Japan, uh, Italy, Iran. and I Iran. If any passengers come in from these areas, they must uh, present to Air New Guinea uh, 14 days of uh, quarantine and a medical clearance associated with that quarantine activities and then uh, Air New Guinea have been advised and Air New Guinea will give them clearance to board flight. And we are also working in partnership with airports that are uplifting passengers. As you know, Singapore Airport, Hong Kong Airport uh, have, have, have uh, sensors to detect passengers who are infected. So we are beneficiary to those rigid control mechanisms also at play at those international airports. With the alarming increase of COVID-19 confirmed cases in Australia and New Zealand, concerns are being raised as to why the current measures do not apply to PNG's closest neighbours, to which the Prime Minister responded that the government will continue to monitor the situation globally and scrutinise the state of both neighbouring countries before imposing the measure against them. Uh, this week we will review this matter to include possibility of countries like Australia and, and others in the neighbourhood. Uh, to ensure that 14 days of quarantine before they come into PNG and an associate medical certificate. Uh, and so these are matters that we are working to tidy with uh, the health department and minist ministry as well as our foreign uh, ministry and department to ensure that we are defensive from word start to ensure no passengers who are infected with COVID-19 uh, come into PNG adding that the government will not put restrictions unnecessarily to cause panic and anxiety and jeopardize the economy. I'm very mindful that other countries are uh, stopping from uh, and, and keeping their countries uh, now uh, away from flights, uh, flight routes. Uh, let me uh, tell the nation we are mindful of this, uh, uh, this sort of recourse to take. But at the moment, because of the, they have the luxury to do because of the economy, which is stronger and bigger. Uh, this issue for us today is not just a health issue or social issue. It is directly an economic issue. It affects the economy as we speak. And the economy and commercial performance of companies like Air New Guinea, so we're mindful of this one. But if need be, into the future. And we are assessing it every day, every week, and every month. If need be, then that might be the option we take as we move into the future. But right now, in the first instance, we're ensuring that flights coming in are lifting passengers who have medical certificates associated with their travel documents and who have been quarantined 14 days minimum in their respective areas before they board. So this will be the protocol and procedure. We'll be funneling out to Air New Guinea as they prepare to uplift passengers into the future. Anit Kora, 
National MTV News.